Imagine that you and 359 of your friends are spread out along the equator. Each of you is 69 miles apart. Together you make a dotted line around the world. All 360 of you begin walking directly north toward the North Pole. For most of your journey, you can't see your friends. If everyone walks straight toward the North Pole, you will slowly get closer together. By the time you reach the pole, all 360 of you will be trying to stand in the same place. Now imagine you can see the footprints you left behind you. Your steps make up lines called meridians. Meridians measure the longitude to the east or west of a specific meridian. You'll learn more about meridians shortly. Like parallels, meridians are imaginary lines that map makers put on maps. They run from the North Pole to the South Pole. They are not parallel, however. They get closer to each other as they near each pole. Like parallels of latitude, meridians of longitude are measured in degrees. There are 360 degrees of longitude. The map of the world on page 19 shows lines that are 30 degrees apart. At the equator, each meridian is 69 miles apart. At the poles, all the meridians meet a single point. You can see this if you look at a globe. The equator is a parallel that divides Earth into northern and southern halves. There is a meridian that divides Earth into eastern and western halves. This meridian is numbered zero degrees, and it is called the prime meridian. It runs through Greenwich, England. This is a small part of London. There was once an important observatory in Greenwich. An observatory is a place where scientists study the stars. In the 1800s, it was decided that this place would mark zero degrees longitude. Meridians east of the prime meridian are numbered 1 degrees east, 2 degrees east, and so on. They go all the way to 179 degrees east. Meridians to the west of the prime meridian are numbered from 1 degree west to 179 degrees west. The prime meridian does not circle the entire world. In fact, it is only half of an imaginary circle around the world. The other half of the circle is called the 180 degree meridian. You'll learn more interesting things about this meridian in Chapter 4. Parallels and Meridians, the lines that help us mark degrees of latitude and longitude, help us name parts of the globe. The prime meridian divides Earth into two hemispheres. The area east of the prime meridian is called the eastern hemisphere. The area west of the prime meridian is called the western hemisphere. How does longitude help the captain know where he is and where he is going? Do you remember how he reported his boat's location at one degree north? You know he is 69 miles north of the equator, but that's all. Is he in the Atlantic Ocean? The Pacific Ocean? The Indian Ocean? You can't tell. But what if you knew his longitude too? Longitude gives you east-west information. Latitude gives you north-south information. When you put them together, you can know exactly where you are. For example, your captain knows that the ship is at 1 degree north and 90 degrees west. This means that the ship is at the spot where those two lines cross. The two numbers are called coordinates. These are sets of numbers that help you find your place on a globe or map. On the map on page 21 titled World Map Parallels of Latitude and Meridians of Longitude, find the line of latitude labeled 1 degree north. Place your right index finger on this line. Then find the line of longitude labeled 90 degrees west. Place your left index finger on it. Now follow the two lines with your fingers until they meet. The point where those two lines meet is exactly where your ship is. You are sailing on the Pacific Ocean. You are off the coast of South America. Now you know you're in the Pacific Ocean, but do you know where you're headed? At that moment, the captain passes by. You ask him, where are we going? He nods and says, we're headed for a city located just to the south of 40 degrees north and 120 degrees west. We'll be there in a few days. Look at the map. Find the coordinates. Trace the lines with your fingers. You can find the spot where your ship is headed.